hi all this is vasvi so let's learn about the identities trigonometric identities in this video it would be better if we call it as pythagorean identities uh, because we would be uh, you basically using the pythagorean formula here so i just take a triangle here triangle abc okay and the hypotenuse side uh, normally we take it as c and this one as a and here i take it as b okay now as per the pythagorean formula it is like a square plus b square equals c square right so here a square is ab okay the side ab so it is ab square plus the b square is bc square so i take it as bc square is equal to the c square which is ac square okay now let's divide throughout by ac square the hypotenuse side okay the square of the hypotenuse i'm dividing throughout by ac square so what happens this becomes ab square divided by ac square plus bc square divided by ac square and ac square divided by ac square i can rewrite this as i'm just taking the square common out so that would be ab by ac the whole square plus it is bc by ac the whole square equals to 1 right one whole ac square and ac square becomes one whole now okay i fix the angle here at c okay so i fix the angle here now uh, from c's point of view ab is opposite right so that is opposite over hypotenuse square the whole square plus adjacent over adjacent over hypotenuse the whole square equals 1 you know opposite over hypotenuse is sin so the whole square makes it sin c square okay sin c the whole square plus here adjacent over hypotenuse is cos c cos c the whole square equals 1 and thus we get the trigonometric identity sin square c plus cos square c equals 1 so this is the first trigonometric identity i can generalize it by saying sin square theta plus cos square theta equals one so this is the first one from this identity i can derive at two more like you know when you subtract the sin square from this you get cos square theta equals cos square theta equals 1 minus sin square theta so i would call it 1a and one more you can derive from this like this was your first identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta equals 1 from this i can derive at one more uh, equation like when i subtract cos square from both sides so that's cos square theta and here again i subtract a cos square theta so what happens i derive at a new equation that sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta so this is the derived identity 2 now again i take the sin square theta and the cos square theta plus cos square theta the same first identity i am dividing throughout by sin square theta so what happens 
sin square theta divided by sin square theta plus cos square theta divided by sin square theta equals 1 over sin square theta. Sin square theta and sin square theta would become 1 whole plus cos square theta divided by sin square theta. That is cos theta divided by sin theta. I am writing the square in common. Okay. So that is sin theta the whole square equals. Here too I write the square in common. So that is 1 over sin theta the whole square. Hence I derive at the second equation, second identity that is 1 plus what is cos over sin? Cot, right? Cot theta. So that would be cot squared theta because you have the square outside equals 1 over sine is cosec, right? Cosecant squared theta. The square you bring it in, so that becomes cosecant squared theta. And this is your second identity. Okay? As we did uh, with the first identity, with the second identity also I can derive at two more equations like now I am using the second identity that is 1 plus cot square theta equals cosecant square theta. I am just going to take away the 1 from this. On either side I can take away the 1 to derive at. So the 1 goes here you will have cot square theta is equal to cosecant squared theta minus 1. So this I can say the derived formula 1 from the second equation. Okay. I call it 2a. Now I can derive one more equation from the second formula identity. So the second identity was 1 plus cot square theta equals cosec square theta. Take away the cot square from either side. So that is take away cot square theta here and here. This will go right. So you will have 1 equals cosec square theta minus cot square theta. So this would be the second derived formula from second identity. Okay. Again come back to the first identity you found out. That is sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. Right? We had it here. So here first we divided by sine square theta to arrive at the second equation. Now you are going to divide it by the cos square theta to derive at the third equation. Okay. Now divide throughout by cos square theta. So what happens here? This becomes sin square theta divided by cos square theta plus cos square theta divided by cos square theta. Every term I am dividing by cos square theta. Okay. And here this is 1 over cos square theta. So this cos square and this cos square goes. So here it is sin theta over the cos theta. This implies sin theta over the cos theta the whole square. Right? I am taking the square outside in common. Plus here you have 1, right? When cos square and cos square is cancelled, you get 1 equals 1 over cos theta, the whole square. So this is sin theta and cos theta gives you tan theta, right? We have already learned that. So that's tan square theta plus 1 equals 1 over cos theta is secant theta. So that would be secant square theta theta. Understood? This is equation 3. Third identity. Okay? 
Now, as we did earlier, even from the third identity, you can make out two more equations, right? Like, you know, I'm going to take the third identity. So that is tan squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta, right? So take away the tan squared theta from both sides. That would leave you with an equation. Tan square theta, take away tan square theta is 0. So leave it. You get 1 equals secant square theta minus tan square theta. Okay? You can call it secant square theta minus tan square theta equals 1 otherwise. So this is the first derived formula. Now, write down the third equation, third identity once again to get the second derived equation. Okay, so that is tan square theta plus 1 equals secant square theta is the third identity. Now take away 1 from both sides. That will leave you with a form with the equation. This 1 and 1 will get cancelled. That becomes a 0. Plus 1 minus 1 is a 0. So this is tan square theta equals secant square theta minus 1. So that's the derived formula from the third equation. Okay, third identity. So I would sum up all the identities here. So the first one was sine square theta plus cos square theta was 1. From this I, uh, I arrived at like sine square theta equals the two other formula we got out of this is sine square theta equals 1 minus cos square theta. Cos square theta would be 1 minus sine square theta. The second identity we got was cot square theta equals, okay, just refer back. Remember, we got this as a second identity. That is 1, cos, one plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta, okay. So that is cot square plus 1 will give you cosecant square theta. The derived one is cot square theta equals cosecant square theta minus 1 and 1 equals cosecant square theta minus the cot square theta. And the third one I would put here, tan square theta plus 1 equals secant square theta. From this I can say that tan square theta equals secant square theta minus 1 and 1 is equal to secant square theta minus tan square theta. So I hope you all can remember these identities. If you really know the basics like how we are arriving at these equations. And this would help you to solve many more uh, trigonometric problems in which you would have to prove certain equations. So there you would have to apply these to arrive at the answer. Okay, I'll meet you with problems based on these in the next videos. Bye.